filmed this video once and the angle was not very good, so I'm doing it again. Uh, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've made a video. I know this is not an ideal angle filming location, but just a little subject I want to touch base on. And it's going to change things for this channel in a good way. It looks like the ammo issue is over. Um, I ordered uh, some ammo online from, uh, what's the place called? Palmetto State Armory. And I had it within like two days. And then I contacted one of my buddies from where I'm from. And he said he's been going by Academy Sports and picking up various different stuff. And they've had it in stock. So, it looks like it's becoming more available, at least in, in the areas I'm in, which is uh, North and South Carolina. I won't give exact details where, but yeah. So that will change the channel dramatically. I kind of stopped making videos because, you know, some of the firearms, I could get the firearms, which I stopped getting the firearms because the asking price went through the roof for a, a temporary bit on some of them. I went to go try to get new things and they were like $400 over asking price. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm not doing that. This is a hobby, not a job. And I can't go broke over it. But on top of that, even if I did obtain a new firearm, we have the issue of, I still have to have ammo to film the review. Now it was fairly easy for me to get like a little 50 box or something, you know, here and there. 50 doesn't give you a quality, like, experience with the firearm to know how, like, good or bad or, you know, if it's going to have issues. 50 is just too short of a test. I like to have a couple hundred, at least, you know, a few hundred before I'm really give an opinion how I felt about a, a firearm. And so because of that, I would just, I didn't make videos because I just felt like I would just be pushing out content for fun and like not I mean at that point it shouldn't be a review it's just like hey I'm just shooting this thing this is this is the you know whatever and it just felt like it wouldn't be the right thing to do and so I, I stopped making videos for a while and that was just it is what it is I have tried to get the GX4 quite a bit um, I've tried to buy it several times and everything keeps going wrong whether I try to order it and they're like um their FF um, FFL or whatever they got an issue where they can't obtain their information when I order it from a place online and then the place I usually bought firearms from I live about five hours away from and they are closed on the days that I'm off work so I can't take a day of PTO just to go down there to buy a, a GX4 so here soon I'm just going to kind of search some areas. I'm going to try to find the GX4. If I can't, I'm just going to get something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. It's been a while since I made a handgun review, so um, there's a lot of options. If you've got a suggestion, put it in the comments down below. Um, I'm definitely open to suggestions, and uh, we'll get some stuff rolling. I've got quite a bit of a little stock up now. I'm ready to do some reviews. That's another thing. I've got to find a range around where I'm at. Um, I've been to one down here, and it was it was fairly nice. It was a little small. It was fairly nice though. It was high quality. They had uh, they had uh, the design. And everything was really nice, but it was it was weird because they they had their officer like on my back. I tried to film there actually. This was back in the day when I was making the vector video, and uh, they were just like literally on top of me, and it made me feel really awkward. And so, yeah, I uh, ended up not doing that video. I just took the phone down. And I was like, okay, no tripod. We're just not doing this because uh, this person is literally making contact with me. And so I don't know if I really want to try that. That range was also very expensive. Uh, someone else suggested one to me that's out here that I know that uh, it's an outdoor range, which sounds actually pretty awesome. I love being outdoors. And uh, some of the best times in the world is when you got like a large slab of land and you're in a safe, controlled area and you can, you know, hang out with your buddies and just like plink some targets. That's, that is the best time. And so maybe that'll feel a little bit more like that. So I'm going to check out that one and see how that does. And if it seems, you know, adequate for videos and everything, maybe that's where I'll start going. 
but I just wanted to give you a heads up, kind of some of the things I've noticed. It looks like our ammo issue is starting to go away a little bit. The prices are still a lot higher than they were. I used to be able to get a box of 50 rounds of like nine millimeter Cellular and Bell it or something for about 10 to $11. And it's looking like it's still around almost 20 ish. Um, so it's still higher, but everything is higher right now. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. And that just is an unfortunate part of where we're at in our society right now. So I'm probably not going to be buying a ton of crap because I am not wealthy, but I am going to start making videos again. So all of you that have asked where I've been at, I appreciate it. Yes, I am coming back and I will be making videos again. It just won't be quite as many as I was doing because I don't have the awesome people down at Springs Road Gun Club helping make it happen. So thank you for watching the video. Again, put comment section down below, put like uh, suggestions, things like that, and I will definitely review them and see if uh, I can make any of that happen. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to y'all later.